I believe that having the amputation on my foot it would help me walk, move myself around. Hey guys, welcome back to Screen Orb. Today we'll present to you My Feet Are Killing Me, the grossest moments of 2021. Let's head into it. Number 3. Pimp Walk Ramon has developed a painful pimp walk as a result of losing more than 200 pounds, which could cause him serious problems in the future. In a PopCulture.com exclusive sneak peek of Monday's all-new episode of My Feet Are Killing Me, Dr. Ebony Vincent of My Feet Are Killing Me fears her patient, who used to weigh over 600 pounds, will have a lifetime of foot, knee, and hip problems as he deals with massive lymphedema or fluid collection in both legs. After Examining Ramon, Vincent admits, Ramon's case is one of the worst cases of lymphedema I've ever seen, noting how remarkable it is that his feet have escaped the swelling of his legs, at least for the time being. Ramon's feet don't have the typical lymphedema, she says, but he'll have foot problems as a result of this, referring to a possible fracture or break caused by the extra weight on the foot. Ramon is weighing compression garments to help him walk, and Vincent notices how much weight is dangling from his legs as she lifts the lymphedema. Ramon's legs felt like they were full of pudding, only a pudding with a firmer texture will suffice. She tells the camera about it later. Ramon jokes that she wants to see his pimp walk, which is caused by his lymphedema, which causes him to rock side to side as he walks. Do you have a pimp walk? Vincent is curious. Do you walk with a slight gangster lean? Before getting down to business, Ramon chokes, hey, you know what's up. Ramon describes how painful it is to walk with lymphedema, swinging at every step, demonstrating how his walking has become abnormal as a result of the fluid in his legs. He says, visibly in pain, it really is a strain on my knee. It's a complete disaster. It's as if I'm in a foul mood. By the age of 11, he was unable to wear regular shoes because his feet were too big. Number 2. The man begging for help as macaroni toenail smell. My feet are killing me is back with a man who needs assistance with his macaroni-like toenails, which stink so badly that he needs three pairs of socks to cover them up. Michael visits foot specialist Dr. Brad Schaefer in the most recent episode, claiming that he was afraid to show anyone his problem because it would give them the nightmares. Dr. Brad was unfazed, and he quickly took off his socks and shoes, revealing his thick, heavy-set toenails, which had started curling into each other. Michael's condition is quickly labeled as the worst toenail fungus he's ever seen, with Dr. Brad comparing them to macaroni pasta spirals. I'm very nervous because no one has seen my feet in 18 years, except my sister Rosie, he told the cameras. I have no friends, family, or anything, she says. I don't want to make anyone afraid. One of the reasons I didn't go to the doctor was because I was embarrassed. People could see my feet, which made me feel embarrassed. When speaking with a medical expert, he described how the fungal infection's odor could become so overwhelming that he would have to wear multiple pairs of socks just to keep it hidden. Dr. Brad then informed him that, because the infection spreads in sweaty environments, Doing so would almost certainly have the situation worse, not better. Michael hopes that revealing his black toenails in his socks will allow him to resume a normal life. Thankfully, he was able to get help from a doctor in New Jersey, who filed down his toenails and gave him advice on how to prevent it from happening again. Yep. Up there, so we're good. Let's, uh, let's get started. Number 1. Woman embarrassed of her painful feet for years. Brad Schaefer hopes that the stigma surrounding foot problems will be lifted, allowing him to treat patients before their conditions deteriorate. In an exclusive PopCulture.com sneak peek of the all-new episode of My Feet Are Killing Me on Monday, the TLC doctor treats a patient who hasn't shown her feet to anyone in years because of her shame about her health, allowing her to wear sandals. A lot of people who have a foot problem are in a lot of pain, but they don't go to a doctor because they're embarrassed. Dr. Schaefer explained, there's no need to be because we're witness to some strange event. These problems can be dealt with before they get out of hand. After reviewing patient Robin's information, he learns that, despite having had foot problems for more than two decades, this will be the first time she has taken her socks and shoes in front of anyone in years. On the bottom and on the side, it hurts. It's always stumbling over rocks. Robin says she has calluses on the bottom of her feet and corns on top of her feet, which she thinks are the result of her wearing two small shoes when she was younger. Dr. Schaefer asks her to remove her socks and shoes so he can examine the problem more thoroughly. It's really painful, she says as Robin hides her face. He says, all right, let's see what you're so embarrassed about here. Dr. Schaefer notices some of the worst corns he's ever seen on the patient's feet, as well as a hammered toe deformity on her second toes. When examining her feet, you can really see how the toe is hammered here, he says, pointing to the painful callus and discoloration on top of the skin. And then you have these corns on the bottom here, wreaking havoc, murdering your feet. To allow Robin to walk around without pain and show off her feet, Dr. Schaefer recommends a callus and maze debridement. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, you can put the camera down and you can sit. You can rest now. What do you think about these moments? Which one was the worst one? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.